reliable 100% fiber internet kaya ang sarap maging tambahay with Red Fiber. Malacanang denies reports that President Ferdinand Marcos Jr.'s Executive Secretary Vic Rodriguez has resigned. In a text message to Palace reporters Friday, July 22, Press Secretary Trixie Cruz Angeles confirms Rodriguez is not leaving his post. Some reports on social media claim that Rodriguez resigned because of pressure within the inner circle of the Marcos administration. Rodriguez, who is a longtime Marcos aide, is quick to shut down the rumors Friday afternoon. I don't know how the, how the rumors started. I'm still here in my office. Rodriguez says if he is to resign from his post, it will be for health or family reasons. All of us in the cabinet, I think it must be clear that the moment he or she accepts the nomination and request coming from the president, by the president, to help him serve and run the country, I think automatic yun. Tinanggap mo na rin na anytime you will be asked to leave. But until that happens, then you stay. Diba? A veteran lawyer, Rodriguez was a longtime chief of staff of Marcos. He was Marcos' spokesman during the campaign season when the then presidential candidate avoided media interviews. A YouTuber flagged for encouraging grooming minors continues to evade the authorities' operations, the Philippine National Police Anti-Cyber Crime Group says on Thursday, July 21. Police Lieutenant Michelle Sabino, spokesperson of the PNP ACG, tells Rappler that even before YouTuber Usapang Discarte became viral, they were already monitoring his channel. But before the police unit was able to engage the predator, his channel was already turned down. Usapang Descartes channel had at least 252,000 subscribers and had been posting content for months before it was taken down. The PNP ACG spokesperson says entrapping him would be harder now given the channel's unavailability. Around mid-July, social media users sounded the alarm over Usapang Descarte and caught the attention of Senator Risa Ontiveros who continues to urge for the passage of the Anti-Online Sexual Abuse and Exploitation of Children Bill. Data of the PNP ACG records a total of 137 cases of sexual-related child abuse committed on cyberspace from 2019 to June 30, 2022. In the same time period, they also recorded 56 cases of gender-based online sexual harassment and 120 cases of child pornography. The Agriculture Department is looking to make an urgent purchase of fertilizer from another government, a move intended to give farmers access to cheaper fertilizer than what is currently available. This comes amid a presidential directive to increase rice production and make the commodity more affordable to Filipinos. Agriculture Undersecretary-designate and spokesperson Christine Evangelista on Friday, July 22, says the department is looking at China Indonesia, and United Arab Emirates in particular as sources of the fertilizer. China is among the world's top three exporters of fertilizer in 2021, along with Russia and Canada. Both Indonesia and UAE accounted for 1% of global fertilizer exports that year. By buying from another government, the administration will be able to cut out the middleman and strike a deal with a friendly country for an affordable price point. The government will then be able to sell fertilizer to Filipino farmers at a much more affordable price. Joe Biden, the oldest person ever to serve as President of the United States, tests positive for COVID-19. The White House says on Thursday, July 21, Biden is experiencing mild symptoms and will continue working, but in isolation. White House physician Kevin O'Connor also says he has begun taking the antiviral treatment Paxlovid. Fully vaccinated and twice boosted, Biden says he was doing well and getting a lot of work done in a video posted on his Twitter account. Biden became ill at a time when his administration is grappling with soaring inflation, global supply challenges, mass shootings, and Russia's land assault on Ukraine. U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention data shows cases in the country are up more than 25% in the last month, with the BA.5 subvariant taking hold. 
Kim Son Ho gets emotional as he apologizes to fans yet again for his involvement in an abortion controversy in 2021. According to a report by Yonhap News Agency, the hometown Cha 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 star sobbed at a press conference for his play, Touching the Void, saying he was deeply sorry for the issue that has caused concerns to many. This is not the first time Son Ho has apologized to fans after he was accused in October 2021 of forcing an ex-girlfriend to get an abortion. The controversy stems from a post by a woman in an online community claiming a certain actor K forced her to terminate her pregnancy when she dated him. At the time, Son Ho admitted the original poster was his ex-girlfriend and acknowledged he had hurt her due to my carelessness and inconsiderate actions. Following the controversy, he kept a low profile and months later took to Instagram to apologize to his fans. Touching the Void is the actor's first project since the controversy.